Hey YouTube, Lincom coming back at you today with another video. Today we're going to talk about personalizing the Motorola Mission Critical Wireless Bluetooth Remote Speaker Mic. That's part number PMMN4095A. It comes with an 1800 milliamp battery, part number PMNN4461A. The microphone comes with the standard alligator type lapel clip. It's removable with the tab on the bottom. Also has a flip up D-ring in case your turnout jacket or perhaps your radio strap has a built in clip. You could use the D-ring to secure the mic uh, rather than using the alligator clip. It does come with a two pocket uh, desktop charger. The microphone has a device vent on the back. It also has your battery contacts and under this tab or dust cap is a micro USB connector. Apologize for the shakiness, I'm doing this one handed. Micro USB. On the side of the mic you have your PTT switch your task light button, the task light, a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack, the blue dot to pair your microphone to your APX portable, two LED status lights, the power button, volume controls, and your emergency man down switch. So what I did to personalize my microphone was I changed the function of the task light from a task light to a one dot accessory button. The way I have my buttons configured, the orange man down button activates scan and the one dot accessory button is nuisance delete. So from the mic, I am able to turn scan on and off and I'm also able to nuisance delete channels as needed. I didn't find that the task light was all that bright for general purposes. Um, if you were in law enforcement, you'd probably want to keep it because if it was clipped on your lapel, it would be perfect for reading uh, driver's licenses and whatnot. But uh, for my uses, it really didn't serve much purpose. The other things that I changed on the microphone were uh, software driven. Um, in order to make those changes, you're going to need to go to MOL. Um, the web address is business online.motorolasolutions.com You're going to need to download the Motorola Accessory Programming Software or APS. Once you get the APS, load it onto your computer, install the necessary drivers uh, which come with APS. You will connect your microphone to your computer through the micro USB port. I have an OEM Motorola micro USB data cable part number SKN6378A. Once you connect the mic to the computer, you'll be able to select the device. You'll be able to click the configuration button in the toolbar. And from there, you will see a system option on the device tree. Um, there's many different options that you can choose from. You can suppress talk permit tones if you wish. Um, you can suppress automatic unmute. You can change the function of the light task button. Um, you can enable indefinite pairing. You can suppress tones and voice prompts and you can suppress indicator lights. Um, I, as I said, changed the function of the task light button to the one dot accessory button. I did suppress the LEDs both of these LEDs flash about once every five seconds during normal operation. Everything that is indicated by the LEDs is also indicated by voice prompts from the microphone, so I thought it kind of redundant, and also I thought that the uh, constant flashing was a little gaudy, so I decided to disable that. In the event that you wanted to re-enable the light uh, status function, you could press and hold the task light button, and the next time you turn the mic on, um, it would be re-enabled. To disable it again, you'd have to go back in through the APS and turn it back off. 
The other thing that I did which I found extremely beneficial and is the main reason I'm making this video is if you enable indefinite pairing, um, what that does is that allows you to not have to touch the blue dot on the mic to the blue dot on your APX portable every time you turn the mic on. I learned the hard way that you also have to go into your APX CPS under radio wide. You'll go to Bluetooth and then you'll go to the Bluetooth submenu and you have to enable the indefinite repair timer. So if you enable um, indefinite pairing on the mic and you enable the indefinite repairing timer in your APX CPS, you will only have to pair the mic to the radio one time. Uh, past that, every time you turn the microphone off and turn it back on, as long as you still have Bluetooth turned on in your portable, it will automatically reconnect. So that's a look at customizing the buttons and functionality of the Motorola Mission Critical Wireless Remote Speaker Mic Kit. Thanks so much for watching.